right. Thanks so much. Thanks so much. Welcome to the show. This is 726 right here in Harrison, Arkansas. We want to welcome everybody. And, and our viewing audience especially. Are they out there? They are out there. Really? Waiting for some phenomenal show. There's people behind out that there. camera? There are. Mm -hmm. I never knew that. I'm a little scared now. Are you? Nervous. Makes you a little nervous, doesn't can it? I, can we stop and Start go over take or? a pill or something? Need a Xanax or I something? I need something. I don't know. Dan, you're too late. Hey, it's I want to let, we'll let people know that uh, we've got one more week to see Willy Wonka. And I went Saturday and I was, I was rolling in and out. It was fun. It was fun to watch. We Very had good a great crowd now, this tell, past Tell weekend. how many people are in the production. There's 45, like 30 or 40, 45 right? 45 in the production itself. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And we have a great director and assistant director and stage crew. And th there's lots to it. There's lots of scenery changes and stuff that goes on behind mm -hmm. the curtain when you're not aware of what's going on. Yeah. And a lot of fine acting. I pinpointed you knew a couple. who I was right oh, off yeah. the bat, didn't you? Yeah. Now, Couldn't understand a word I said. Now, you were, you were, you were packed into that, uh, that outfit, I was tr My right? body was transformed. Now, where did you get that? The, uh, you really want to know? Little I Googled padding. for fake bottom and fake chest only I didn't put those words but <laughs> and it directed me to a website cool, that had cool, them uh -huh. cool. yeah but the chest was too big so I had to switch places and it went to the rear end and oh so you oh yeah oh because really like, <laughs> that's funny that's <laughs> funny. Like crazy now, how's that held on is it straps and a belt type I had of thing? to get a big undergarment oh, okay you just shoved it shoved in, it in All there right. that would be interesting to see <laughs> <laughs> do, you have any, do you have any behind the scenes footage of all this? Putting no, you should see me getting dressed though. It's <laughs> quite humorous, funny. let me be tell funny. you. I want to say that there, the, uh, a lot of the kids in that production were just phenomenal. Were. I thought they were good. Mm -hmm. Lisa were. Johnson's daughter, she just blew me away. Her and her chewing the gum. And uh, yeah, she plays the part of Violet and she's done a great, great mm -hmm. job. I'm very impressed. If you know the, the story of Willy Wonka, you, you'll remember that uh, there were four separate, four or five, there was a five different tickets i think was it not five five tickets mm -hmm. and there's five different kids that won the tickets and and, and these kids had big really parts good. in this production yeah. and they have they've come through and done a great job and i didn't know that ken bailey was that athletic oh yeah you I should see him was we're downstage watching him slide that down hole. Through. yeah i thought he was going to de decapitate himself when he went i think down he did the first time he door. did it too oh my gosh <laughs> But that was awesome. It was a good production, and there's just two more Saturday two more at 7.30 or Sunday at 2 p.m. will be your last chances to see Willy yeah. Wonka. And I hope you'll come out and see the production. And you've had a, you actually had a sold-out show We did. Saturday, uh, Saturday. night was sold out, which was phenomenal. And Sunday was, was almost full. It well, was, it was the balcony right. was almost full. So yeah. if you hadn't had a chance, please go down there and see that. It was well worth the money, and, and you'll enjoy the, 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 the production. They had a little problem with the popcorn machine, though, but Did they got they? that worked out, yeah. Okay, well, I'm glad that's fixed yeah. because you've got to have your popcorn. Now, you're, uh, with that in mind, you're gonna, you and Lisa are going to do what? We are going to, we have been approached by the Ozark Arts Council to conduct another children's theater workshop. So we have researched and found that we're, we're going to do it and present it, I think it's December 11th and 12th, but it's a Snow White Christmas and it's based on Snow White. Mm -hmm. And Lisa, of course, has a lot of experience with acting and I just kind of, I do the singing. Mm -hmm. So anyway, acting is not my forte, but, oh. but anyway, we're going to uh, teach the kids from the start about how to audition mm -hmm. and then how to act and, and she's going to have some exercises set up and, and then take them through the production and they will present the production at the end of the workshop. So it starts mid-September and will culminate mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. in December, early December. So stay tuned for that. We're going to have audition forms available this weekend at Willy Wonka, but they'll also be available after that and we'll get the information out to okay. viewing audience and to anyone that's interested. We'll make sure you get a form and it's for five to 12 year olds, boys okay. or girls. And, and that's, so. that's a real key to, to keep things moving along. To you keep, bet. To keep the excitement going. Well, I mean, the... it, you know, you start them young, too, and they learn how to do this, and they're not so intimidated and not afraid to come and audition yeah. for other plays, and we've got to start grooming them young because, you know, we're getting old. I get old parts now. Yeah. I used to get the young, nice parts, but now I'm just the old lady. Fat one, too. <laughs> <laughs> we do a good job of being the old fat lady. Thank you. It ain't over till the fat lady sings. <laughs> <laughs> That's funny. Anything else going on with you? 
No. But I was going to no. say, too, remember August 13th is the reenactor will be at right. the Lyric as well. The yeah, we had him on the show last guy. week. Right. And that's so, a one-man show. Right. And, and you can go to the website. And fairly interesting. Okay. See other stuff that's going and, on. You know, we do have Debbie George uh, Jones scheduled to be on the show, and she's not here right now, so I don't know if uh, she's going to pop not sure. in for the last right. minute. So. We hope that she will, but yeah. the membership drive, she's going to talk about that if she's here. So. All right. Okay. You okay. want to take our first break? Let's take... No, I want to go through our list of... Oh, we could do that first. All right. I think that we'll tell you who's going to be on the show. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> Tiffany Curtis is here with Arvis Bank to talk about the charity golf tournament coming up. And as we mentioned, Debbie Jones is supposed to be here. Randy Cooper's here with the PRCA, Professional Rodeo Cowboy Association, and talking about what's coming up with them. And then... Mm -hmm. A group called the Springdale Rounders, which we have several women here that we're going to let them explain what the Springdale out. Rounders are, but they're, they look great. They look great. So they've got some unusual chaps on. You'll want to stick around for that. We're going to take our first break, and when we return, we will talk with Tiffany Curtis. Stay with us.